We're uh, going to get started with the sketch duel now. So yeah, we're going to get started up here. Obviously, everybody's aware of Mr. Bill Simmons. Give it up for Bill. Yeah. Mr. Tony Moore of Walking Dead fame. Yeah. Our format for the sketch duel is two men enter, one man leaves. So I'm sorry, but one of your talents will no longer be applicable. No, of course, everybody. It's a big friendly environment. Uh, we might as well get started. We're going to have uh, 45 minutes for the sketch. Uh, we're just going to do the one so they can both do a really good job with it. Uh, we're going to solicit some ideas from the audience. If anybody says Batman, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> Deadpool. Deadpool. Yeah. yeah. Cannonball. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We got my yeah. Cassie Hack. Zombie Hulk. Whoever, I see a hand raised over there. Could I? I'd like. Let, let me hear from the gentleman with his hand raised. Sorry, Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, obviously, it's up to the artist if they're uh, both confident with the uh, subject matter. Doctor Doom, little dark side. Zombie Hulk. Uh, you there? Yeah, that does sound badass. Zombie Hulk. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah! Yeah. All right, let's do Zombie Hulk. Forty-five minutes. All right. All right, we're good. Uh, would you, would you, we will definitely be. That'll be that'll, 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 precisely. You can alternate between watching. Some of the, if you watch some of our earlier duels, uh, some of our artists were not able to talk and uh, draw at the same time. So, uh, since Marcus didn't say a word, guess who uh, finished quickly, quickly on that one? Um, let's open it up to the floor just to get rolling. And uh, if anybody has any questions, please raise your hand and I'll get to you as soon as possible. We'll let the get started. Yes, you said. Yeah, uh, who were your inspirations? There we go. Who were your inspirations? You want to let me feel that one first? I can start with drawing, but I can't even speak when I'm not drawing. So, uh, my inspirations, but I can't even really narrow it down. Even though Neil Adams was sort of my my main guy when I was growing up, uh, there have been so many along the way, and a lot of them might look at my stuff and think that there's no way that that person has influenced my work, but like Sergio Aragonis, oh, his see. work is, is, I love his stuff. Yeah. And I, there was a whole period when like uh, his, uh, he stopped, he was doing the, the marginals in Mad, he was also doing his own, um, you know, Viva Mad and his own paperbacks and okay, stuff. Yeah. And I just, I love the, the confidence in the line. So actually when I got to know Sergio, I asked him about that and you know, he said that one of the things that made him so fast was that when he, when he draws, if his line goes this way instead of that way, he just goes with it. And so it's like he's not correcting, he's just going with the flow. And that actually was really kind of encouraging for me. So there's been a lot of people. I mean, Sal Buscema, Carmen Infantino, Stan Drake, of course Neil, and then illustrators like Bob Peek and Bernie Fuchs, Mark Lewis, um, Fred Otnes, and then a lot of abstract expressionists, um, Kurt Schwitters, you know, Robert Mother, uh, uh, Motherwell, uh, Frankenthal, Helen Frankenthal. It's just like there's a whole slew of these people who do abstractions and stuff. And then, you know, even like Andrew Wyatt uh, and uh, N.C. Wyatt, you know, the whole, the whole Wyatt. Uh, not as big on Jamie, but uh, but the, the, uh, N.C. And, and Andrew were, were amazing. So there's really, it, it doesn't ever really stop. I mean, you know, I'll look at some of what somebody's doing now, and it's like that's, it's like a little, Buzz, little click of adrenaline. Yeah. Cool. So it, you know, we're we're sort of we're alive, hopefully sentient creatures. So you know, it's like oxygen. It's out yeah. there. It's osmosis. Sometimes it's just. Tony, you better have a lot of influence as well to name off here. <laughs> just Bill. Like Bill, I I've got a list as long as your arm. 
when I was a kid, I grew up reading mm -hmm. Mad Magazine. Uh, when oh, more stuff about, about yeah, uh, oh, Jack yeah. Davis. Um, Jack Davis is like my ultimate influence. Um, uh, uh, I think he's in the Guinness Book of World Records for like the most. Of work that's ever done, you know? uh, yeah, probably. Cause, cause he's done stuff for like, Time Magazine, for Mad, he's done stuff for yeah. serious things, yeah. for funny things. I mean, an uh, album cut like Johnny Cash, yeah. Spike okay. Jones. Uh, this guy, he was the premier cartoonist for the entire 20th century, pretty much. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he's Mad Magazine, the whole usual gang of idiots is, is my earliest and deepest influence. Um, you know, I, I actually got to meet Sergio Agones and tell him, like, before I could read, uh, oh he, yeah. He was, he was like my 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 blues blues when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff I could pick out of Mad Magazine and still understand. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, comics guys like uh, well all the EC stable. Uh, oh, yeah. You know John yeah. Severin was another. Yeah. Um, you know between Mad and Crack. And, uh, uh, I was the guy oh, who yeah. went Crack well, instead well, of Mad back then. <laughs> um, awesome. And then. You know, Wally Wood and, and all the guys that, that, that work for EC. Um, and then, you know, modern comics guys like Jeff Darrow, Doug Mankey, um, huge influences on, on how I approach the page. Um, cool. But, um, and then in the, the fine art stuff. Um, uh, we need some volume back here. Oh, oh okay. Closer to the mic. Hello. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, the Wyatt, and Andrew NC, uh, Howard Pyle. Um, let's see. That's better. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, Rockwell's huge influence because he was still a cartoonist at heart, I think, uh, even though he brought it up to such a level of realism. Um, and then in fine art, you know, guys like uh, Jerome Witkin, uh, Joel Peter Witkin. Oh, yeah. Um, um, you know, they have like a real darkness in their art. Um, it's, interesting. it's interesting, I think uh, Jerome's a painter, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, I met Jerome up in uh, Syracuse and uh, got a chance to tell him how much I, I really love his stuff. And, uh, um, you know, typical artist, I don't live by it. You know, so I thought, this is this man is, is, is very cool, so. Well, that was a terrible first question. <laughs> we, had, we had nowhere to go with that. Yeah, I just told that in. And people are leaving, so obviously it's like... Yeah. Oh, God, like, oh, they're talking about her. You're all going out there to check up on all of those references. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Uh, I guess it's probably a question more towards Tony, but uh, what's your thought on the TV series? What's your thought on the TV series for Walking Dead? Uh, for the most part, I, I really dug it. Uh, you know, I... I I wish the package was a little leaner, you know? I, I, I watch some shows like um, Boardwalk Empire, and it feels like every second is, is as perfect as it could possibly have been executed. Um, I, I felt like there were maybe a few throwaway bits in the show, but visually, uh, could not possibly have been better. I think Nicotero's uh, effects crew is probably doing the best stuff that's ever been laid down on film. Um, the cinematographers, the, the set dressers, all those guys are probably like uh, a lot of the scenes. It felt like like Freddy Krueger style. They like reached into my dream and pulled it right out, and, uh, and it's insane. Like I got cold chills uh, from some of those scenes because they were so exactly what I tried my best to put on the paper. And I guess I gave them enough information that they were able to, to run with it and, and execute it that way. But yeah, they, it was really they involve you in the show at all. Or? No, I'm more or less out of the loop of production on the show, um, you know, so I kind of catch information, um, you know, maybe, maybe just a hair before everyone else. Do you ever see the show, Bill? Uh, no, I was, I was just going to mention that. I actually don't have a TV. There you um, go. I stopped, I stopped watching television um, a number of years ago, um, but I, uh, uh, I do watch you know, collections when this when the series will come out or something. I'll get the, the DVDs and watch them straight through. Um, on what? Yeah. On anything. Well, I mean, I was a big I was a big Deadwood fan for a long time. Oh, yeah. I love that show. Um, yeah, you know. Uh, and um, let's see. There's a, there's a whole slew of. Them. I mean, I, and I've seen a couple of the movies that have been coming out, but I, I'm sort of drawing a blank on on anything at the moment um, that I have really actually. I mean, 